a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Goodbye, Mr. Chips, 1939 film. Goodbye, Mr. Chips is a 1939 British romantic drama film directed by Sam Wood and starring Robert Donut and Greer Garson, based on the 1934 novella Goodbye, Mr. Chips by James Hilton. The film is about Mr. Chipping, a beloved aged school teacher, and former headmaster of a boarding school who recalls his career and his personal life over the decades. Produced for the British division of Amgem at Denham Studios, Goodbye, Mr. Chips was voted the 72nd greatest British film ever in the BFI Top 100 British Films poll. For his performance as Mr. Chipping, Donut received the Academy Award for Best Actor in 1939. In 2003, the American Film Institute ranked Mr. Chipping the 41st greatest film hero of all time. Plot Summary for the first time in 58 years, because of a cold, retired school teacher Mr. Chipping misses a first day assembly at Brookfield Public School. That afternoon he falls asleep in his chair and his teaching career is related in flashback. When 25-year-old Charles Edward Chipping first arrives as a Latin teacher in 1870, he becomes a target of practical jokes on his first day. He reacts by imposing strict discipline in his classroom, making him disliked, but respected. Twenty years pass and he becomes the senior master. He is disappointed in not receiving an appointment as a housemaster within the school for the following year. However, the new German teacher, Max Steyerfell, saves him from despair by inviting him to share a walking holiday to his native Austria. While mountain climbing, Chipping encounters Kathy Ellis, a feisty English suffragette who is on a cycling holiday. They meet again in Vienna where she persuades him to dance to the Blue Danube Waltz. This piece of music is used as a light motif, symbolizing Chipping's love for her. Steyerfell remarks that the Danube does not appear blue, but Chipping remarks it only appears so to those who are in love. On another part of the same boat, as Kathy looks at the river, she notices that it is blue. Even though Kathy is considerably younger and livelier than Chipping, she loves and marries him. They return to England, where Kathy takes our precedence at the school, charming everyone with her warmth. During their tragically short marriage, she brings Chips out of his shell and shows him how to be a better teacher. He acquires a flair for Latin puns. As the years pass, Chips becomes a much-loved school institution, developing a rapport with generations of pupils. He teaches the sons and grandsons of many of his earlier pupils. In 1909, when he is pressured to retire by a more modern headmaster, the boys and the board of governors of the school take his side of the argument and tell him he can stay until he is 100 and is free to pronounce Cicero as Cicero and not as Kikiro. Chips finally retires in 1914 at age 69, but is summoned back to serve as interim headmaster. Because of the shortage of teachers resulting from the First World War, he remembers Kathy had predicted he would become headmaster one day. During a bombing attack by a German Zeppelin, Chips insists that the boys keep on translating their Latin choosing the story of Julius Caesar's battles against Germanic tribes, which describes the latter's belligerent nature, much to the amusement of his pupils. As the Great War drags on, Chips reads aloud into the school's Roll of Honor every Sunday the names of the many former boys and teachers who have died in battle. Upon discovering that Max Steyerfell has died fighting on the German side, Chips also reads out his name in chapel. He retires permanently in 1918, but continues living nearby. He is on his deathbed in 1933 when he overhears his friends talking about him. He responds, I thought you said it was a pity, a pity I never had any children. But you're wrong. I have. Thousands of them. Thousands of them. And all. Boys. Filming Locations The exteriors of the buildings of the fictional Brookfield School were shot at Trepton School, an independent school, located in the village of Repton in Derbyshire, whilst the interiors, school courtyards and annexes, including the supposedly exterior shots of the Austrian Tyrol Mountains, were filmed at Denham Film Studios near the village of Denham in Buckinghamshire. Around 300 boys from Repton School stayed on during the school holiday so that they could appear in the film. Score Richard Adinsell's score for the film has been included in a CD of his work. The liner notes of the CD include the lyrics 
for the Brookfield School song which is heard over the beginning cast credits as well as throughout the film itself. The lyrics in the body of the film are all, but unintelligible, but per the notes, the lyrics are as follows, let the years pass, but our hearts will remember, school days at Brookfield ended too soon, fight to the death in the mire of November, colon last wicket rattles on evenings in June, grey granite walls that were gay with our laughter, green are the fields where our feet used to roam, colon we shall remember, what year may come after, Brookfield our mother and Brookfield our home. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?